Uh, you flew in to Toronto from uh, from Michigan. To Michigan, Toronto. right? And you've got a uh, uh, shoulder that was diagnosed by your orthopedic surgeon three weeks ago. It's frozen shoulder. You've had it for three or four months. Yes. You were, what was your story? You were going to get some physical therapy, physiotherapy, and what what was the experience with that? Uh, it was extremely painful, mm -hmm. and I uh, actually was in more pain the next day after I did the physical therapy. Mm -hmm. um, it just caused a lot of soreness and aching mm -hmm. in my shoulder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is a typical occurrence with many, many empties of capsulitis, as we talked about. And you asked certain questions. What, what questions did you ask last time you went for physiotherapy? I asked the physical therapist if he had ever uh, known of anyone or or treated anyone with a frozen shoulder that recovered 100% from the physical therapy, and he said no. Right. So that was the honest answer. Yeah. And he pretty much said, well, it's going to be a long time if we do it, right? He said that in his experience, um, he has seen improvement, but the, the, the standard time length mm -hmm. for an improvement would be three to six months mm -hmm. of treatment to see some improvement. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see what you can do with your shoulder or not do with your shoulder. Not much. <laughs> For me, um... Let's try and wash your hair. Uh, I can't. That's it. Mm -hmm. What about putting putting on your... Hold on a second. Uh, what about uh, putting on your bra? Uh, no. Let's see. Try and turn around with that with that arm, with the left arm. Try to For me, this is the worst. Yeah. Going backwards yeah. with this arm. That's it. That's okay. it. So right. I... Just about raising up to the side. About there. Yeah, that's it. And not fun, eh? No, yeah. this is okay. Go against the, put your back against the door. Raise your, put your elbow up on on the door. Put it, put it up. Yeah, like I solemnly swear, up with the elbow and against the door. Try that with the left side. Keep the arm right side up and do it. Try that with the left side. I, I, that's it. I mean, it hurts. You pushing can't. My, pushing my elbow back you, to the door. You can't hurts. try to raise your arm up like that. Oh. You can't raise it at all. That's yeah, it. That's it right that's there. That's it. Okay. All right. Okay. So basically, when you told your phys physiotherapist that you were going to go for a procedure, which you probably told him that could fix it in one procedure, he didn't believe you. No. He actually, to give him credit, though, he did um, ask for the information. He said he would love to, you know, look at your website, which mm -hmm. he did, and he said that um, he would not discourage me from coming. So mm -hmm. he, he was open into it. Um, he had never heard of it or didn't know anyone who's done this, but... Yeah. Well, works. that's good because a lot of the doctors and therapists will say, oh, no, it won't work, don't go. Even family members often, a lot of people say, oh, no, don't go and fly there. It's never going to work. It's going to, you know. But you're ready to get this done. I'm ready. That's looking good, looking good. And very good. Okay, let's turn around and keep it up yourself. Can you keep it up? Turn may have around. to help her, Del Shad, I'm not sure. Turn around. Just a hand. That's a good. Keep it up. Keep it up yourself. Turn around. That's good. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Good. Good, good, good. Are we smiling? Okay. All right. Now, bring it down sideways. Over there. Slow. That's good. And a little faster if you want to, but don't drop it suddenly. Very good. Very good. Very good. Bring it down. Bring it down. Good for you. Not suddenly. That's good. Controlling it. Good. You're getting better. Okay. Immediately turn around and go back up the door. Reach up. Just reach up. As high as it'll go without touching. Good for you. Look at you. Hey. Eh? Wow. Are you happy about that? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. It's worth driving across the country to get here to yeah. do this? Yes. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. Now, you're not flattening yourself out and you ha don't have the arm back where I want it. Okay. Yeah. Move her body forward. Move her whole body forward so that it stays back. That's good. Right after the procedure, let's see uh, what you can do. This is a couple of minutes later, right? Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Same day, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Raise it up. Look at you. Hello, hello. What do you think about that? Oh my God. Wash your hair. Look at that. You can do it. Yeah. You can do it. So what do you think? What do you say for all the frozen shoulder sufferers out there? I am absolutely amazed. I can't believe. Ten minutes ago, Sherry, I couldn't. 
I couldn't raise my arm any farther than that. That's crazy. It was just unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> she can't even hug me now. I'm gonna hold that. It's a miracle. <laughs> you can hug me with that arm, what? <laughs> okay. Isn't that something? That's awesome. So finally, what about all the naysayers out there that say that this isn't possible? Oh. Huh? All the doctors and therapists and patients and relatives all say, no, you can't do that. That can't, that can't happen. What do you th say to them? Uh, it can't happen. <laughs> it, it, it did happen. I absolutely uh, believe in miracles for sure. Hey, Melissa, this is 24 hours later, yeah. right? Uh, day two, you're about to, to go back home to Michigan. You're putting your hair on your pony in a ponytail there with yeah. your hand. First time in four months uh -huh. that I could do that. And uh, it's such a beautiful day out. What did you just say to me just now? On the drive over, I had my arm up on the door out the window. First time in four months, and it was just a glorious feeling. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, good luck. We're going to let you go. You've been fantastic and uh, wish you the best luck and hopefully you'll put some posts and blogs and everything else out there about this. I will tell anyone who will listen. Yeah. Because Just it's send it on the internet. I absolutely will. Okay. It's nothing short of miraculous. All right. Thank you so okay. much. All right. Well, Melissa's all done. Yeah. She's finished. She's going home. Going home. She's going home and she got her life back and you're about to get your life back. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. You're going to be so I'm excited thankful. she gets, so amazed. gets her life back before her daughter's wedding. That's yeah. great. Oh yeah, when's that? I didn't even know that. Really? Oh, you'll be dancing and put your arm up and everything. Be careful with the, no pulling on that arm though. Okay. No sudden pulling, okay? okay. Alright, but uh, otherwise everything okay, yeah? Fantastic. Awesome. Great. Okay. Thank you. You too. I'll give you a big hug too. Here we are. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get you in here and get you up to bat, okay? Melissa? So you just had your shoulder fixed yesterday, right? Yesterday. And uh, and Laura, you you're about to get it fixed in about yes. an hour or so from yes. now, right? We're just gonna do some trigenics pre-op, and then we're gonna be set to go. So let's see what we can do. You got a smile on your face here today. I am euphoric. Wow. Oh wow! Absolutely euphoric. This is the first. Today was the first day in four months that I woke up without pain in my in my arm. Like I slept. I set my alarm for to do the exercises every hour. Yeah. So obviously, you know, I, I was awake for that, but in between, I slept like a baby, which I haven't done in months. Like I, I just. When you had, but you woke up when I told you to wake up, I and did. you did your exercises yeah. and yes. wash your hair. Wow. Jeez, you are just going like a bloody. <laughs> Look at you. I mean, it's like a miracle. Yeah. It's a, yeah, it is a miracle. Awesome. Like before, I just had this constant ache in my arm, 24/7, and, and then never went away. Move just the wrong way? Did it just oh, send like shoot, yeah, pain, shooting, shooting pain, pain through, drop yes. you to your knees, cry? Yes. And yeah. actually, a couple times last night, I I felt myself move in my sleep, and then I yeah. braced for yeah. what I thought was going to be that sharp pain, and then it never it didn't came. happen. Yeah. So, so we're a happy camper. Really, really happy. All right. So what do you say for everybody that wants to get this done that's got frozen shoulder? Don't wait. <laughs> <laughs> do it now. now. You need to be on tour on all the uh, talk shows. Uh, on tour on the talk shows. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. for sure. Okay. In Toronto from, where did you come up from? I'm from Kansas City. From Kansas City. Ah, we USA. treated someone else. We did someone else from Kansas City. The woman came really? up all by herself with no help, stayed in the hotel room, did it all alone. Wow. It was amazing, yeah. But anyway, um, let me see what you can do. You've had frozen okay. shoulders since September, which is what, about eight or nine months you've Correct. had it. And uh, you were diagnosed as adhesive capsulitis, diagnosed yes. by a couple of different doctors. You've seen, who, who have you seen about this? I've been to two different chiropractors. I've been in for x-rays, MRIs, and I have been to the pain center of Kansas City. Mm -hmm. And nothing helped? No. And then they, um, oh, and I also did um, massage therapy. Okay. All right. And uh, nothing helped. And uh, when I went to the pain center um, and they sent me for the MRI, and then their, their diagnosis and their treatment plan was you need to go through um, 
weeks of, well, cortisone shots, mm -hmm. weeks of physical therapy, mm -hmm. and then if that doesn't work, then you'll go under the knife. And that's where I just stopped and said, no, I'm not doing any of that, and I'm going to go to Trigenics instead. Ah, great. How did you find find? Uh, yeah. Me and my husband were doing research on the internet mm -hmm. on frozen shoulder, mm -hmm. and that's where we found you, and um, did all the reading, and mm -hmm. and um, and that's when we just decided that's, that's what we're doing. Great. So here we are. Let's see what we yeah. can do. We're going to do it today, okay. right? Okay. Yes. Go and ahead. Let me see. That's what I got. Wow. Then that hurts very much to do that. Okay. Uh, forward, I have that. Okay. And back, I have that. Turn around. Try and put it behind your back. Turn right around. Turn around Yeah. More. Try and put it behind your back. You can't do it? No. Well, that's it. Okay. All right. How do you take your shirt off? How would you okay. take your shirt off? And try and put it on. Okay. Wow. How would you How would you put it on now? Um. Okay. So you put it on. Are uh, you in this video? Are you okay with that? Oh, I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Always the left arm first, because then it doesn't have to move. So then, then the right. Oh, how would you, okay, that's it. You can't even pull it down, really. How would you wash your hair? Oh. Let, me, let me see you try and wash your hair with your left hand. Okay, so in the shower, I'm like this. <laughs> 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 and that's my daughter laughing at me. Yeah. That's how I wash my hair. Wow. There's no raising that elbow up. No. It's impossible. Um, and there's, um, very difficult to put my hair in a ponytail, so I have to pr put the holder on the tips of my fingers. And go like this, and then you just can't raise the elbow up. How would you? Uh, how would you? How would you shave under that arm? Uh, barely. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to do it today. We're going to do the Trigenics uh, pre uh, OAT procedure work right now. on the shoulder. Let's see what we can do with it right now. So that's probably another 10 degrees because you were, if you look at the video before, yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. Good. And lighter, right? Feeling yes. to lift it. Yeah, not as heavy. Not as heavy. Not as tight. Yeah. Okay. Good. You saw your mom with her arm up like that. Long time. Mm -hmm. Long seems time, right? Like, eh? Seems like a year. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You're pretty happy to see her arm up? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I'm proud of her. Mm-hmm. Good. Okay. This is what you're going to have to do now. You're going to do this. Come here. Okay. It's going to hurt a bit. You're going to put your hand here. Okay. You're going to bring her arm just gently back a little bit so it's behind her ear. Okay. Then you're going to support, look at where my hand is, you're going to support here very strongly. Okay. Okay, oh. and you're going to, she's going to press in and you're going to press in, keeping the hand so it doesn't go forward. Right there. You have to get at least this high every time, every hour in the hour for the next three days. Okay. Otherwise, it'll start to stick together again, and then you're going to have to start out with it. You don't want to do that, right? If you get over the next three days, you'll be home free. Okay. Every hour in the hour for three days, you have to help her. She has to wake up every two hours at night tonight, and every three hours tomorrow night, and once a night. When was the last time you put your hand? Does that feel good to feel you have your hand up there on your head? Yeah. Hey? Is that, is that kind of nice? Huh? Yeah? That's nice, eh? Long time, huh? Okay. All right. You're going to be washing your hair tonight, okay? Right. Well, you got your arm up over her. When was the last time you did that? Hugged your kids. About almost a year ago. Look at that, eh? Ooh, you're doing push-ups. You couldn't even touch that hand before you did it, okay? Now, this is another one of your sentences. You know that, right? Okay. Beautiful. Okay, let's stand up for a second now and go up and let me see.
see what you can do. Just stand right up. Just put your hands up now. I bet you're going to fly up a lot easier. Just stand up. You're on your way back to Kansas City with your life back and your arm back. What do you think? Well, you watched the video, and I just want to say one thing. Someone asked me the other day, what gives you the greatest joy in your practice? And it didn't take me more than a second or a split second to know what that was. And I said to him, I said, the thing that gives me the greatest joy is seeing the incredible smile, beaming smile and joy, and tears of joy often on the faces of the people that I help, especially the faces of the people with frozen shoulder where they've suffered for so long, where no one's been able to help them, where they've tried all kinds of therapies that don't help or that often actually make it worse. I just really hope that you believe your eyes, that you believe in what you've seen here today because the patients that you've seen are not actors, they're real people. They're just like you and when you're ready to receive help, I'm ready to help you. Knowing that now I'm going to go out and live my life and put my shirt on and play with my kids. And... That's tears of joy.